This is a, a, a research institute that is uh, completely funded and owned by the government of India's Department of Biotechnology. It is an institute for disease biology. So we work on different aspects of disease. Cancer is just one of them. We have very good programs on uh, neurosciences. We have very good programs on reproductive biology, uh, chemical biology, where we, we develop uh, drug, uh, uh, drug delivery systems, anti-infectives. We even do molecular ecology where we go and hunt for rare frogs and extract potent anti-cancer, antimicrobial compounds from them. Uh, we have a very strong plant biology program that actually looks at two of the major cash crops of Kerala, ginger and pepper, as well as look for anti-cancer uh, anti compounds anti-infective compounds from the biodiversity. So it's a, it's a fantastic institute in that it, it completely uh, allows uh, interdisciplinary research. We run a large uh, molecular diagnostics division, which is a service facility that provides diagnostic services in cancer, cardiovascular, and infectious diseases. Uh, we've just got into the business of uh, biotechnology uh, we've taken over the uh, biotechnology park, which is in, uh, located in uh, Cochin, where we actually will start <coughs> business development programs with the industry. Okay. And one of our major areas is diagnostics. Again, looking at uh, better ways to detect cancer, looking at better ways to detect viral infections much earlier. So the institute, I think, is, is doing well. And it uh, gives a unique opportunity to work with people from all sorts of backgrounds. You have plant biologists, you have chemists, which is, which is extremely rewarding. We do, we have uh, one of India's best rated PhD programs in biotechnology, which is open to master's level students from any science discipline. Uh, in the uh, Cochin campus, in, in the industrial campus, we've just, haven't started, we will start in, uh, in 2014, in coming new year, a, a finishing school for biotechnology engineers. The majority of our biotechnology engineers are actually, uh, uh, don't have exposure to uh, human disease or how to, how to do research in human disease. And therefore, their employability in pharmaceutical companies and biotech companies is very difficult because they are actually unpolished in that area. So we kind of spend six months to one year, we uh, polish them up, give them adequate instrumentation training, adequate ba background information on biology, engineering, bioinformatics, and then make them ready for the industry. This would begin in 2014. We are actually uh, in the stage of planning for a master's level in human nutrition since that uh, goes right across the spectrum of, of medicine for whatever disease, diabetes, which is the biggest problem in Kerala today, cardiovascular, cancer, reproduction, neuro, whatever you find, you find nutrition as a common base. So we hope we will start in again in uh, uh, 2014 a, an integrated master's PhD program in human nutrition and disease. So it looks like students are going to have a good time here.